Taiwan's investigation agency for transport accidents has completed its probe into the Nanfang Ao Bridge collapse. The bridge had caved into a harbor last October, killing six and injuring 13. After a one-year investigation, the agency concluded that one reason for the collapse was cable corrosion. Another cause was negligence. According to the report, the bridge was long overdue for a safety inspection at the time of the accident. On October 1st of last year, a steel single arch bridge collapsed into an Elan harbor. One year later, the Transportation Safety Board has released a full incident investigation report. A possible cause for the accident includes severe corrosion in the steel strands, such that made the bridge unable to bear the load of a passing truck. The steel strands had long-term exposure to a saltwater environment, leading to serious corrosion. The effective cross-sectional area of the suspension cables was down to some 22 to 27 percent. That is the primary cause. According to the board's report, the bridge's proximity to the ocean exposed it to chloride salt and humidity, which eroded the waterproofing of its suspension cables over time. Water accumulation compounded the rusting of the bridge. The report found that in the 21 years since the bridge's completion, it had gone through just seven inspections, all of which were visual only. The bridge had not been inspected in the three years and seven months before its collapse. From 2001 to 2016, seven routine inspections were conducted. These were mainly visual inspections. After April 18, 2016, the bridge was not inspected again. What had deteriorated was the waterproofing material. It looks a bit like the silicone rubber people are familiar with. It's material for waterproofing. If routine inspections had been conducted, the deterioration would have been noticed by the naked eye. The collapse of Nanfang Ao Bridge led to injuries and the loss of life. The board identified 12 findings pertaining to bridge accident risk, as well as six safety recommendations. The report will be distributed to bridge management authorities nationwide in the bid to prevent another tragedy.